Also new at 6, a touching story about a young father who now sees police in a whole new light. And it's all thanks to the actions of one rookie cop who went above and beyond. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash has the heartwarming story tonight from Westland. When Levante Dell was pulled over in his Impala Monday afternoon on Warren Avenue, he thought, oh no. When he hit the lights, that's the idea what everybody pretty much does when they get pulled over. Heart drop went to my stomach. Dell figured it was because of his tinted windows, and he was right. But when Westland police officer Joshua Scaglioni walked up to the car, he saw something else. Dell's three year old daughter, Lauren, was not in a car seat. I asked him, why is she in there without a car seat? It's unsafe. And he teared up a little bit, explained to me that he's going through some tough times. When he asked me, do I mind stepping out the car? I, <laughs> I was really expecting the worst. But that's when something really great happened. He actually talked to me. He asked me what was going on. And I, I broke everything down to him, like why I'm in the position that I'm in and why money is tight. I related to it. I related to the fact that I've been in that situation before. And I said, you know, to myself, this is a perfect opportunity for me to help this guy. So this rookie officer didn't give Dell a ticket. Instead, he told him to follow him to Walmart. And as they walked through the aisles heading for the car seat section, Dell says he didn't feel like he was with someone he'd just met. You would have thought we was best friends, like we knew each other for a while because it wasn't an awkward silence. We was talking the whole way. I learned about him. He learned about me. He seems like the blue collar, hardworking guy. Uh, and he's doing his best he can for his family. And then another surprise. Officer Scaglioni reached into his own pocket and bought this car seat for Dell's daughter. I thank her from the bottom of my heart. Dell says they parted ways before he realized he didn't get Officer Scaglioni's name. That's one of the reasons he posted the story on Facebook, and it has since gone viral. I feel he should get the recognition that he that he deserves. Like everybody should know what he did. So now little Lauren has her car seat. Thank you. And her father has a newfound appreciation for police. Don't judge a book by its cover, man. You'll be surprised what come out of it. It wasn't my intention. I never thought that this was going to happen. Never thought that I'd be talking to you. <laughs> but I am. And I, I really hope that this uh, has changed a lot of people's perception on us. In Westland, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. You know, it's so nice to do a story like that, yep. you know, to show. I mean, of course, we all know the cops are human and they have a heart, too. Exactly. It's, it's great right here, and he's done a, a, a good deed to let people know that the cops are there to serve and protect. And we were told the officer wanted to remain anonymous. Of course, we wouldn't let him. <laughs> it spread so fast on social media, and his name got out, and then we got to him. So that was good. We got you, officer. Yes, we did. Pulled you right over there. Uh -huh. Hey, now to your forecast.